Hi! That was not a good hi. Hi! I'm Miranda, and today, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm doing a haul. There's not a whole lot. It's just some stuff that I've purchased recently that you guys still can get in store. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. First things first is the top I'm wearing right now, and this is from H&M. It's just a very, it's a nice high neck. It's like a mock neck. It's not a turtleneck, obviously, but it's just like a nice high neck, striped shirt. And the sleeves, if you can see, are like a fourth? I don't Because three quarter is down to your wrist. What are these called? They're not half. They're like... Whatever, you can see how it looks. I really like it. I'm pretty sure I got it in a size medium. Because these kind of these things are really hard to get over your head. And it's a little bit stiff. It's not I mean it is tight, but it's a little bit like the material is just kind of like uh, you can't really move in it. It's hard to get off because it doesn't it's not stretchy. That's what I'm saying. Um but yeah, it's really cute. I love my stripes. I'm excited to wear this in the fall. I'm excited to wear this with my high-waisted jeans and my boots. And I just remembered I need my boots to show in this video. And they're over there on the floor. But they are also from H&M. And they are just... They're not really Chelsea boots like my other ones are. They're just like nice heeled booties. They are like faux leather kind of in the front and then they have like kind of like a suede um, thing on the back and then you do have a zipper with a little tassel on the back that I can't seem to do by myself but yeah I didn't think at first I would like the zippers but I really do like these shoes a lot and the heel is three and a half inches while my other ones are two and a half so it is a pretty big difference these are not easy to walk in if you're not used to boots in general I can walk a lot faster in my Chelsea ones because the platform the heel is thicker it's um more what's the word wider more chunky I hate that word chunky don't 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 say that to me I hate it but yeah these ones are thinner they are wide and then they do taper down to a thinner heel at the bottom which is why they are a little bit harder to walk in but I love them next I'm going to do what I got from a little online shop called shop Gracie USA right yeah I hope so but they are just some thigh highs because thigh highs are the best thing ever in the fall. And they're just solid black. Um, and then the actual part that like cinches that makes them stay up is lace. And it, they look really small. And that they wouldn't stretch. But they are very stretchy. They, um, I, I haven't had any issues with them ripping or tearing. But if you can just see the lace. Next, I will do what I got from Forever 21. And the first thing is something I'm super duper excited to wear because it's really cute and just really good for fall and I'm so excited. I feel like I'm so excited for fall this year while usually I'm just like, oh man, it's fall. Great. I'm really excited for Halloween. I'm excited for all the fall colors. I need to go shopping some more so I can get more actual fall colors. All my stuff literally in this haul is black, white, and gray. Literally all of it. That's a problem. Gotta get more colors in there. Some like nice dark maroons. Some dark orangey red colored stuff. I need some sweaters that are fall colored. I don't know. I need everything. But the top I got from Forever 21 is just a gray cropped shirt. It is another high neck. It's pretty much the same as this one. Just gray and the sleeves are a little bit longer than a normal t-shirt they're not as long as these ones but they're like maybe half um but yeah it's just cute 
it's got uh, vertical lines down it. Then from Rue 21, why stores have 21 in them, I don't know, is just a black tank top that I have worn many times. It's very cute. Then next is PacSun, and I got two sweatshirts from there. Both of them are cropped, surprisingly, because usually I don't like cropped sweaters. I thought they're the stupidest thing to ever exist until I got these. And the first one is just a gray cropped sweater, and it just has a little alien on the side. They're so warm, like the inside is literally the best thing ever. And with high-waisted jeans, it doesn't even matter that they're cropped because high-waisted jeans cover what the sweatshirt doesn't, and it's fantastic. I love it. And then the second one is the classic Brandy Melville, okay, but first coffee printed thing. Again, it's cropped. The same material is inside, which is like fleece. It's just so soft. I love it. Very cute, very excited for it to get cold enough so where I can wear these. But yeah, they're great and I am in love. Then, the last place that I decided to buy things from was Hot Topic. And they're both Dragon Ball Z related because after seeing the new movie, um, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, I have remembered every reason why I watched the show as a kid. It used to come on Cartoon Network at 10 p.m. and I used to watch it every day of my life. Ever. I had the cards. I watched the show. I loved the action figures. Everything Dragon Ball Z was my thing, man. It was great. And the first shirt is... Actually, are these shirts? No. Some of the shirts are specifically for Resurrection F. There is one that says Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F and it has Frieza and um, Goku on it and Vegeta, maybe, I think. Um, but yeah, this one is just Goku and Vegeta. It's just them paneled side by side. I really like it. It's cute and I want to get more shirts with them on it because I just love it. Then, the second one is just a t-shirt that has all of the Dragon Balls on it. Very cute. Very simple. I really want to get Dragon Ball plugs, but I want to size up to one half first because that's where I'm going to stop at. And then I'm going to start getting really cool stuff that I like. If you guys know how to size up from 7 sixteenths to one half safely... Let me know because my ears won't straight away go from millimeter sizes up. Like, it, they don't, like, I literally could not go from zero to double zero without getting an in-between size taper. Um, just because my ears don't stretch out easily. Um, I don't know, uh, what kind of tape I would need. Uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Um, some people use, like, glass weights to stretch out their ears naturally. I don't know. I want to know what the best way about doing that would be if you guys have any ideas because I really want to get to one half because I have two sets of plugs already. There are one half and one of them is really pretty and I want to put them in my ears but I can't because they're not big enough and I just want to cry. But yeah, that's just rambly. That is the end of this haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I feel like my voice is starting to go out again. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye!